Dang it. So everything didn't go too smooth. Got a ticket and the truck's broken. Oh well. Another day cowboying. Alright, Henson Wind here. We are getting ready to go to get a horse. We're going on a road trip to pick up a horse, me and my dad. So I'm waiting on him. But while I'm waiting, I gotta make sure I got everything ready. Been on a lot of road trips, hauled a lot of stuff, hauled a lot of horses, a lot of cattle, bucking bulls, hauled a lot of hay. I even hauled bees from California to Texas one time. So I gotta make sure we got stuff for our trip. I gotta make sure the oil is checked, gotta check your tires on the truck and trailer make sure they're at the right psi gotta make sure you got a spare for your truck and trailer sometimes you might need a couple of spares for your trailer you need snacks drinks so i gotta take the cooler and some snacks because uh, you guys never stop anywhere driving <laughs> um, a jack a block a lug wrench i don't have an impact wrench yet uh, tools i'm gonna make sure we need to uh, put tools in just in case. I ain't planning on breaking down, but if I break down, I'll have tools. A halter, uh, that might be about it. So I'll go down and uh, check all that stuff on the checklist. All right, block, check. There's halter over there. Same in empty cans of soda, just in case. Gas can, just in case. Lug wrench, cooler for our drinks. There's our spare tire for the trailer. Gotta check the PSI. Um, yep, that's good. Tires, they look good, but I'll check them with the um, gauge. Trailer tires, they look good, but I'll check them just with the key. I usually like them at uh, 80 PSI. Got a jack right there, some fly spray, bar soap in case we break down or out there for days. Um, lug wrench again. That's all check. Okay, I got some tools right there in that bag. Bench plier just in case. Uh, some mud boots. Another set of tools right here. Just got some glass cleaner under there. Carburetor cleaner. Yep, carburetor cleaner. In case we gotta clean the, the carburetor on our uh, Cummins. Okay, let's check the PSI on the tire. Don't put these in your mouth when you take them off. Dogs piss on them. Just leave them, you know, right there. Alright, let's see. It's 65. Probably could use some air, but we're only hauling one horse, so I think that right. The truck tires were good. The spare tire was good. I think we're ready to roll. When you're on a road trip, what's like something that you need to check and need? Hey, cool it, dog. Uh, if I'm on a road tri trip, well, I need to check my tires, make sure I have enough fuel. Make sure I have a spare, uh, both truck and trailer. You usually make sure I have enough drinks or snacks. Okay, we got those all checked. Oh, we you didn't check the motor oil. Oh yeah, motor oil too. Somebody has checked that. <laughs> yeah, we checked it all. We got <laughs> spare tires, jacks, tools. Good, well, good to go then. Let's go. Make sure we have a Dodge. You gotta have a Dodge. You gotta have a Dodge. <laughs> Unless you're driving a Ford, then you gotta have a Ford. Oh yeah, we gotta make sure uh, Got your ID. This is the only ID you need. Right. 2000, 99 to 2000. Oh, yeah. There High you go. school ID. So, we're back home from our trip we took to get a horse. Uh, me and my dad. He already took off to go pump water before it starts to rain. It's supposed to start raining in a little bit. We'll see if it does. Um, it was a good trip. Uh, everything went well. We didn't have no blowouts. We got the horse. Um, yeah, it was smooth, except uh, I got pulled over, and uh, well, anyways, you gotta you gotta remember to check your because um, we were like saying what we, what you need to prepare for and what to check. You gotta check your brake lights and your blinkers. The right side of the truck, the brake, or well, the the brake wasn't working on that side, and the blinker on the right side. And it's not the trailer, it's uh, something in the truck. It must be a fuse. So I gotta have, I'm gonna have to fix that or my dad, somebody. 
Um, but yeah, well, I'll go show you the horse that we got. This horse I rode before. Um, and the only reason we got her is because uh, the lady that I rode her for before and that bought her from, from my dad uh, died. She passed away. Okay, so he got the horse because Kathy passed away, the lady that owned her, and also because uh, uh, he bred her. And some of you might remember her. This is Blondie, and I'll, I'll uh, start riding her, tuning her up, and we'll end up selling her for Steven. So yeah, she'll be on the market, Blondie. Um, and you'll see me using her to work. So that's pretty cool. I, I liked riding her. She was good to ride. And we'll end up selling her for Steven. So if, if anybody's uh, in the market for a Palomino, that is, uh, she is, she's gonna be six. She's five right now. She's gonna turn six. That is, you know, I don't know, this high across my shoulder. She's not super tall, but pretty nice. We'll show more of her. Or just look back in the some of the videos and you'll see her there. I spoke a little too soon that everything went good. I went to uh, go uh, ride some horses. I was taking the truck and trailer down to ride some horses. And this sucker's uh, the truck's got a ga uh, fuel line leak. So there's diesel. We got diesel spraying somewhere. So one of the lines is loose or broke. Dang it. So everything didn't go too smooth. Got a ticket and the truck's broken. Oh well, another day cowboying. Okay, well I got done uh, riding the horses and uh, some people will say, man, that was kind of a rough day. You got your truck broke down and you end up getting a ticket. <laughs> I didn't really say what the ticket was for because it's kind of embarrassing. It wasn't because of the um, the blinker and the brake light didn't work on the trailer or something else. Uh, so I think, dang, that's kind of rough. But it was a pretty good day. We're, we're going to help out Steven and uh, um, get that horse to a to somebody that will enjoy her also, like Kathy did. And then I, I, I'll get to ride her, so that's pretty cool. Um, she was fun to ride. And I got all my horses rode which was good, they rode good. And uh, nothing threw me off, which they probably could have if they wanted to. So yeah, it was a good day. Hayden had a pretty good softball uh, game. She hit a, she almost hit a dinger. I thought, it was a good hit, I thought. Um, so that was cool. I don't know if Danielle will put it in the video. But she hit it right to uh, left field, right in left field's glove. Ref, left field just had to put her glove up. But it was a pretty good hit. It was cool. So, yeah, it was a good day. The truck didn't break down on the freeway. For some reason, right at home. We got home. It, it didn't smell like fuel. Took the horse out. Did some stuff. And now, all right, I'm going to go ride some horses. And all of a sudden, smell like diesel. Opened hood and just um, smoke. So, yeah, amazingly, we broke down right in the yard. Not on the road. Pretty cool.